Hello everyone, I am Siddharth and this is, an this is a review of my project which I done as a part of my DSA course. So my project name is Hospital Management System. It is basically an interaction program between doctors, patients and the database of the hospital. And for patients, it's more like this is the place where you can apply, make an appointment, see their status of their appointment and many more. For doctors, it is like uh, it is a, like the, it is like the place where they can call the next person in the queue if he completes the present person uh, consultation and to see the remaining number of patients in the queue to visit him and even to see the patient logs of the remaining patients. So the data structures I used in this project are open hashing, link list, and queue. So without any delay, let's jump into the code. So if you see here, if you see here, I declared and patient node. So which basically contains the basic information which should be given to an hospital to make an appointment. After that, if you see that I declared two different things that is a patient node inside i mean a patient node inside the a patient node and and a doctor node is inside a patient node so we'll discuss about that later so and after that if you see the doctor node just like that i uh, some information and a patient node and a doctor node now if you see that i declared an array of 26 pointers so this is the place where the open hashing works this array most like likely work uh, like an dictionary this is an array where we store doctor node or the doctor uh, details so i uh, i did this to have an arrange to get a, uh, to get it arranged in a proper manner and to have an independency from other doctor nodes and each doctor node contains its own patient chain that's the reason why there's a patient node in the doctor node so uh, in the open hashing and this is the in, <coughs> in open hashing we need a hash function for uh, the hash function for this thing is this one so if you see here it takes the first letter of the doctor name and and which will act as ASCII value in this function and return the index of the array where it should be stored. So for each doctor node, there will be another patient node. So patient node and the, in the patient node, it just is a normal link list connected to the doctor node and the patient chain is independent for each and every doctor so that it doesn't interfere between the patients patients or the mismatch between the doctors and many more so now for example if i want to make an appointment with some a doc some doctor so what are the possibilities to get the information of the doctor uh, one will be the name of the doctor and second will be if he had a reference id then the reference id so those two things these are the things we use for making an appointment so before that we will see how to enter a new doctor into the portal so if you see that this is the basic information needed uh, to, uh, to enter by every doctor to enter into the database so after that so uh, we use the hash function if the element in the hash function is equals to null then we make that null we will replace that null by the pointer value of the specific doctor and if there exists a doctor in the specific element of the array then we add we just we add to him just like adding a node to the end of the linked list and and it returns the i mean it prints the doctor name and the doctor uh, employee id um, which is nothing but a uh, pointer value of the node i use this because if we had to generate some other value it's gonna take some other time but it will some other time or we have to make something complex so if we directly use this memory id then it will be very easy for searching a doctor or to add a patient to the doctor because the time complexity of finding 
by pointer is O of 1 which is ideal. So now if I want to uh, make an appointment with the doctor by the name then we get an issue. That issue is there can be doctors with same names then we will get confused. For that reason I use this doctor find function. It basically prints every doctor with the name you typed and the reference ID of the doctor. So so that you can search for the doctor you want to see and there will be an image of the doctor so that you can search for the doctor you want to see and enter his reference id then you can make an appointment here is the thing uh, this is the place where you enter the doctor memory id so yeah this is where that if you see that it takes some basic information needed uh, to submit to the hospital and after that uh, after that if I if I'm a normal consultant uh, uh, if I'm for a normal consultation then uh, we have to type the name or the memory ID of the doctor so that uh, it will just add to the doctor's patient chain just like adding a note to the node at the last of the link list and it returns I mean and it prints the a memory ID of the patient memory uh, added memory ID of the patient which should be remembered by the patient and if you see that and if you see now the this is the features in patient mode now if you come to the doctor mode there are three main things one thing is if someone completes his consultation then we have to remove him from the queue and the second thing for the doctor is to see the remaining number of patients present in the queue and the i mean for his consultation and the third thing is to see the patient logs who wanted to visit him so for that reason we use three functions The now first function is the doctor status. Doctor status uh, return I mean prints the remaining number of patients who are waiting to have his consultation. And the other one is the patient log. The this function print out print prints the patient's details like reference ID, patient name, and some other description. Yeah, and the other thing is the delete function this is the function where we use the key queue concept using link list in this uh, after completion of an uh, consultation then then the patient will be removed from the list so that the next patient will be welcome to visit the doctor so this is the consultation part so now let's see the interface of this code So this is the output screen of my code and if if you can see here that we have three things that are active case, normal consultation and emergency cases. These change whenever the patient's admission is added or cancelled. So and when it comes to uh, main features of general mode that are patient admission, new doctor entry and status. So before entering, before making an appointment, let's enter a doctor name. Uh, his name is Arjun department dental yeah now you, you can see here that uh, it shows an id this id is as i said before this id is basically the dr archon notes pointer value so now let's make an patient admission so so here you can see you can see that there are two options for consultation one is normal and the second one is emergency so if you can see here that the second em for for more for more uh, clarity and for more uh, clean working uh, for for that reason the emergency cases have been has a separate chain of 
critical patients so that there will be no mess and the no messy things with the normal consulting people list so uh, let's take the normal one and now if you see that there are two things that are uh, for doctor search they are by name and by member id so if you see that uh, if you take the second thing it's the most efficient one to uh, know the i mean to get to the uh, doctor node because we are directly providing the memory id of or the pointer value of the doctor you want to see then for for more, for more fun let's go by the name i am entering some random name you can see that the doctor doesn't exist because i didn't register the doctor so i made this option available because so that we don't need to enter all this stuff again so if you see that now i will uh, click the option one again now i will go by the name again and i click the doctor i want to see so now they, we are lucky that there is only one doctor and he is the one we are visiting uh, we just need to enter his number yeah now you can see that the total number of cases have been updated and the normal consultation have been updated and you, you can, even you can see here that the appointment i made has an reference id which is nothing but the pointer value uh, as i said before now if you see that yeah now we can see the status of that to see the status of that we just need to remember the mem member id now you can see that the every detail i wanted to know has been display uh, has been displayed here so these are the things in the patient mode now let's go to the doctor mode for that i have to just enter a special key code i made it i made that way which is 100 now you can see that we enter the doctor mode as i said before the consultation completion is nothing but the delete function which i discussed in the code the remaining number shows the remaining number of patients present i mean waiting for the doctor the patient log means the details of the patient who are going to visit the doctor so let's see the remaining number of patients for that we have to enter the doctor id yeah here you can see that the remaining number of patients are one now let's see the patient log of the doctor now you can see that we have only one doc one patient and by clicking his reference id or the pointer value you can see his details now just imagine that he just completed his consultation now he want to leave and we need to delete him from the list for that we have to just choose the choice for now and we have to enter the doctor's reference id now he has been deleted for proof uh, here you can see the remaining number of patients is zero See, there is no one that's the reason there is no patient log so that's it in the patient uh, id uh, we can this even this thing will get updated in the three live features of the code so we have to just enter anything now you can see that the active cases in the normal even the active and the normal cases have been changed so that's it guys have a great day and the link to the code has given in the description bye